Alright you guys, uh, we got a deck analysis here uh, with me and my roommate Grady. Uh, he just got back, or he's still in Seattle, but he was uh, just at Bellevue Cities where he won with this uh, grossness of a list. And uh, <laughs> it's something that we've been kind of working on for about a week or two here. And uh, uh, Grady had the balls to play it, and Grady had the balls to get 50 championship points right away. Yeah. Fuck yeah! So, uh, first and foremost, what did you play against? Um, it was a shit ton of Evil Tall in Bellevue. So, I would say the meta was a lot of Evil Tall. There's a lot of Best of Queen there today. In the uh, top rounds, top eight, I played Best of Queen. Top four, I played Best of Queen. And top two, I played Serena Do with uh, Evil Tall. Um, so. what did what was JP playing that you lost to? Actually, didn't. J JP was playing uh, Evil Tall Glade Archaeops. Okay. And he was running it kind of. He was running a couple unknown R's too. So like a heavier focused on Gallade list, I think. Um, and that game was really close. What swung it is I benched Monectric before I knew he was playing Gallade, and then later in the game he uh, since have bladed it for the game. But oh. I think I think I could have won that match if I played it better. But he also played really well, so there's no shame in losing to a care like a player of his caliber. Well, I yeah. Think. It, geez, I think he's still the number one. Player. Yeah, so yeah, it, was, it was a good game though. Yeah, dog. Okay, uh, did you play against any like? Was it all Evil Doll? Like that's like nothing what you played against, or? Um, I played two Evil Dolls in Swiss, um, and then I played like like a couple Polka Dads. I played one Dawn Fan actually, and then I played a Pyro or Bats list, uh, and I was really happy because last night we were debating whether or not I needed a Hex in my deck. And my and I was like, no, fuck it, we don't need the hex maniac. What does that help against? And Kyle's like, no, uh, you should play it for Tyrantrum. And then he flipped over like double Litleo and a Zubat. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck, I'm really glad Kyle made me put this. Yeah, hex seriously. Because if I hadn't had it, I would have just auto lost to that matchup. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, what did uh, you? What were you killing Pyros with? Like Dark um, Actually, Keldeo. I attached a Prism and a double Colos to Keldeo. Okay. I was just one shotting on that way. That makes sense. Sweet. Uh, uh, how did you beat Vesper Queen? Because I heard you said it was basically just Lando and Jirachi. And I remember, I don't, I, what was the text I sent you? Like, like, good luck, you're fucked, you're top 80. Yeah, I, I texted you, like, fuck, what do I do in this matchup? Um, and I was on my date, and I was, I was like, I don't, uh, let's see what it says. Um, oh, it's way up here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I said, uh, I said, uh, um... Uh, what are you playing? You have Manetric. Landers is useless. Uh, what do I do? Toad, yeah. maybe Jirachi should help. Um, don't suck and win. Oh, I know. Flip them off and call a judge. Yeah, which I did, but uh, okay. Help. <laughs> uh, so they were both in top eight and top four. Both of the best between lists were like standard best between with a like a two-two Flareon line and a blacksmith. So basically, what is I that noise in the background that you keep? Oh, sorry. Oh. Um, so basically, like in the first matchup, I I, I played five different games because I two of the first guy and then the second guy was two one. Mm -hmm. So in three out of the five games, I went second, which I actually think is wrong. I feel like they should be going second. Um, so what I did is that three out of the five games I KO'd Eevee turn one with Landorus. So. Okay. Um, and then I probably stardusted. I stardusted probably twenty times <laughs> in those five games. Like, Jeez. that that's how you win that matchup. Um, and then one of the games, the guy's blacksmith was prized. So like, I still think the matchup was kind of unfavorable. I got a little lucky. And then if one of the games, the guy had like two Vespa queens prized, and he couldn't fish him out. Um, so, so really, though, the key to that matchup is just the Jirachi and the Landorus. So, okay. But it's, I still think it's negative. You just, I got a little lucky, to be honest. Right. Well, better to be lucky than good sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, and then how was the Serena match? You you two out here. Was it just, like, Manetric and, and Chill? That, um, that was a really, really fucking good matchup. Um, both of the game, the, our game one went, like, 45 minutes. Yeah, you mentioned and then game two went to time, and I won, like, so it went to turn three, and she tied up prizes 1-1, one, one, and then I won next turn. Oh, wow. Um, actually, Mewtwo, I would say, was the MVP of that game. 
because she tried to load up Evil Talls, and then I, I had a couple of like, double colorless muscle band. Did you ever like? Did you just drop the Mewtwo and like shock the world kind of thing? Yeah, like I dropped Mewtwo, and then you like put an EXP share on it, and then you can touch double colorless muscle band. Um, and then Xerneas, of course, is really good in that matchup because you can one hit uh, Evil Tall EX and Toad. Right, pretty easy. Um, and that's actually the matchup I was talking to you about where I would have really loved a Trevenant EX because uh -huh. she had, you know, the Keldeo on the bench and that was how, you know, she kept rushing in, retreating with the, the dark energy on that. But if you had Trevenant, you can Lysander up the uh, the Keldeo and just force, force whatever the fuck it's called. for Forest Curse or something. It does what? Curse. Yeah. It does 20, right? So then you get two free prizes, basically, where she just sits there for five turns while you KO it. Right. Or if you have a muscle band on there in three. Right. Yeah. Um, both the games were like, she had to go super hard, waste a lot of resources. Um, and then there was a game where she ran out of energies and she needed to like verse seeker for an AZ. Mm -hmm. And I had a Landorus active and I was setting up a four, like a, a hammerhead for four prizes. And that's how I ended the game is I, I just oh, hammerheaded damn. like five turns straight. Jesus. So, after you had texted me saying, why is Landorus in this deck? I'm going to take yeah. it out. <laughs> I, I was, was clutch all top cut. Yeah, right. I was like, dude, it's like the best card in the deck. Yeah, it, it really was, honestly. Um, when I played it, when I played it, when you sent me the list and I played a couple of games uh, before the tournament started, I, I used Landorus in every single game and I was like, oh, yeah. all right, sweet. That's a good inclusion. Landorus and Jirachi were definitely the MVPs of right. the day. Um, so yeah, no, no Colrus because you're an idiot. Yep. Um, play Colrus if you want to run this list. Play Colrus, yeah. Uh, what would you take off the Colrus? Just a Sycamore. Okay, so you go two Juniper, two and one Colrus? Yeah. Then that's fine, yeah. yeah. Um, why no Jirachi EX? The Jirachi EX? Yeah, did you just think about that at all? Um, it was in the list originally, but there was never, there's no like one of supporters really that you need to search for. And it was most of the time it's like it's a ninety HP bench sitter. Right. And you already have the the metal bench setter in the other Jirachi, so True. I didn't um, think it was necessary. Why no Toad? Like Toad was something we also thought about putting in. And maybe it is good. We didn't test it that much. I'm just trying to think like what matchups is that gonna help you win? Uh Night March? Yeah, that's that's probably the only one. Right. Um now what you it, have it's something like it'd be a fine inclusion of the deck. Don't get me wrong. We well, just it's, it's kind of like when we when we put in Toad and Jirachi to uh, uh, Gallade Raichu. Yeah. It, it's like okay, those two cards are gonna win you a nightmatch matchup. Yeah. I just don't know what I would cut for it, honestly. Like, right. but you could definitely if you've wanted to find room for it, you could. Well, you were thinking about cutting the egg for the uh, Trevenant. Yeah. Um. And I would consider cutting the Manectric EX for Dedenny as well. Really? Yeah, especially like especially if you know your your meta is going to be a ton of evil tall. Then I would play both. I would play the Manectric and the Dedenny right. and find something else to cut, like the egg or something. And if you know, like this, the Regirock promo we put in for if there was any Sable Garb there, which yeah. I dodged all day. But if you know there's not going to be any Sable Garb, the Regirock is 100 percent useless every other time. Right. So. Cut that if you know there's no stable garb too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's an auto win for that matchup for sure. Um, would you ever consider going down to two Xerneas? Nope. Nope. How many prizes did you take with Xerneas versus your other attackers? I'd say it was about 50 50. Okay. Because all I'm hearing is like, oh, I, I won with Jirachi and Landorus and yeah, Manetric like, and Mewtwo. I mean, I'm talking about these tech attackers, but don't get, the Xerneas is your main attacker most of the time. Right. Like, and the thing about that is, the way the EXP share thing works is like, you have a Xerneas active like with a fairy and a DCE on it, swinging for 220. They can't just ignore that. So they, they have to knock your Xerneas out, and then you're guaranteed to get an EXP share off, which is kind of how you, you know, accelerate energies with this deck. Right, right. There's no other way to do it. Would you ever consider going down to 2 EXP and 2 Muscle Band, or is it 3 EXP? Yeah, that, that was something I thought about too, because I didn't... I think I'd need the muscle band because Xerneas, it doesn't matter, but it does help with all your tech attackers to hit different numbers. Yeah. Um, 
And it also helps if your sky field gets bounced because you're only swinging yeah. for a 160 at that point. So, so yeah, I, I could, I would definitely test going down to a two 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 float stone muscle band exp share split, mm -hmm. and then and dropping a juniper for a chorus and dropping an egg for either a trevenant or a Dene. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, yeah, and if there's no sable guard, then you can even drop the Reggie Rock for a Dene and Trev, and that's right. There's that. See what else? What else was there about this deck? Um, everything else is just pretty much consistency. I never had problem with three Skyfield. I don't think you need four in this list. Oh, yeah. Um, was teammates clutch at all? Teammate, teammates was actually really clutch all day, just because you know you can teammates for like an EXP share on Skyfield or right. whatever. Um, and that's where I think that's where Jirachi actually comes in big because then your Ultra Ball turns into two cards. You know. Right. So. Um, Hoopa was really good for setup too. Yeah, it is. It's would, so good in this deck. Like game, I had a game where I Hoopa was prized, and I'm like, wow, this this hinders my setup so much. So <laughs> yeah, no, I I love me some Hoopa in this deck. Yeah, like it turns any opening you hand you have with an Ultra Ball. Like okay, this is a good start. Like right. that's all you need. Is well, it's a yeah, it's 120 damage, right? Because you're gonna Hoopa grab a a Shaman, a Keldeo, and a Darkrai, and there's yeah. a you have 120 damage just stacked up on your bench right there. So sweet. Well, awesome. Uh, congrats again Thank for you. bringing a a random pile of cards from Spokane to the to the That's how we do it to the promised land. <laughs> That's, what will they think of next? All right, yay, cool. That was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Uh, I don't know what videos will be posted out soon, but Spokane cities is this weekend, so something crazy might happen. We'll see. All right. <laughs>